Investigators in Stockholm try to understand discrepancies in Flight 294's flight data. Right here, the data shows a steep pitch up, but the plane flies level and then pitches down, not up. Investigators soon discover that it's not just the pitch data that's off. Right here, heading and roll are wonky too. All four parameters come from what's called an inertial reference unit, or IRU. It's made up of gyroscopes that provide information to the cockpit displays and to the flight data recorder. There are two IRUs, one for each pilot's display. The FDR gets its data from the captain's side, IRU. The captain's display and the flight data recorder both get their pitch data from the same source. Now this is what the captain was seeing. Investigators are coming to a troubling conclusion. The captain's instrument was telling him the plane was pitching up when it was still flying level and that it was rolling to the right when it was actually rolling left. What the hell? It's now clear the pilot was receiving bad information from a faulty IRU. Is it possible the first officer was too? The FO's instrument has its own gyro. Investigators learned that IRU-1 was only feeding the captain's instrument. A second IRU feeds the first officer's display and is not recorded by the flight data recorder. So is it possible that both sides could have failed? If the first officer's instrument was correct, he should have seen that the plane was flying straight and level. So why did he allow the captain to push the plane into a high-speed dive? To find out, the team recreates the flight in a simulation based on the data from IRU-1. Okay, start the uh, animation. It paints an almost incomprehensible picture. Three seconds after his instrument shows a pitch up, he pushes the nose down. When the captain pushes the nose down, his ADI continues to show a pitch up, so he keeps pushing the plane into a steeper and steeper dive. Then they begin to roll to the left. The plane continues to roll until it's on its back. Eventually, they do reach a speed of 508 knots. Flight 294 hits the ground inverted at a speed of almost 600 miles an hour. Investigators can now see what happened, but they still don't understand why the failure of a single instrument led to such a sudden and catastrophic crash. How do you go from level flight at 33,000 feet to 1,000 kilometers per hour impact in what? Uh, one minute, 20 seconds. <laughs>